Oh, sign on side. Sorry, 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 sorry. Wait ah. Hey brother, hey what's up? 65 XT ah? Yeah, I'm doing a review now. What to compare with 1660 Super? Uh, I mean, you look at the price for 1660 Super first la. Is 65 XT good ah? Uh, you watch ah, you watch ah. I'm doing review now. Okay, I'll call you later. Bye. Don't forget to watch the review ah. Ah, finally, the Radio C5 XT is in Malaysia. And today we have managed to hands on the Radio C5 XT from AMD. Let's go through with the specs. It's built on the 6 nanometer process and Navi24 graphics processor based on the RDNA2 architecture. It's a 107 watt power rated width. It comes with 1024 stream processors, 4 GHz six memory, and is connected using a 64 bit memory interface. The GPU is set to be able to boost up to 2610 MHz. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Junchin here, and welcome back to Studio Azure. Today we are going to see how does the Radio C500 XT performs in 1080p gaming against others. We will be using the Ryzen 5 3600 and the i5 11500 for our benchmark test so that you guys will have a clearer picture on how it might perform in your gaming build. The card that we will be using is the Sapphire Pulse Radio 6500 XT. Performance might slightly vary from brand to brand as they have their own clock and cooling tune. Also, a gameplay footage is separated from the benchmark results as performance was recorded without OBS recording as well. Well, nonetheless, this will pretty much give you an idea where it stands going for an entry-level gaming build. Now, we have chosen a few popular games among all the Malaysians for our benchmark test. Without further ado, let's get started. Overall, as you can see from the benchmark results, the Radio c XT does a good job in handling most of the 1080p game at high settings. For games such as Valorant, Apex, GTA 5, and FIFA are able to achieve a quite respectable frame rate. And for certain games, it's even close to the GTX 1660 Super, considering the price for that card is nearly double the price of Radeon 6500 XT. 
Aside from gaming, according to AMD's official website, AMD did mention its PCIe 4x4 and it doesn't support certain encoders such as H.264, H.265 and AV1 which might not be an idea for you to do rendering, live streaming or any recording usage. Most probably, we are going to do a test out without encoders to see how much does it affect you to do rendering, live streaming or any recording usage in our future video. But given the price points such as the Sapphire Pulse Radio C500 XT is priced at MSRP 1299 ringgit. I would say it's a good investment in terms of gaming performance. Prices for other brands are yet to be announced. Kindly follow our page Azure Online. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our Facebook page. It's Jun Chin here and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Ah. Bye bye, it's not my trademark, okay? It's peace out.